Hey everybody, how's it going? Hope everyone had a good weekend. Um, I wanted to do a quick series on some of the free agents we sign. I don't know who all we're going to sign. That's kind of the interesting part about this time of year. But we just gave out a big contract to K1 Alexander. So I wanted to do a quick series on him. I'm going to show him in the run game, in the pass game, the screen game, and then the kind of the hot button topics surrounding him, his missed tackles. Here, I wanted to show how he, he handles the run game really well. Uh, he's a discipline, disciplined player, but also has a burst to be able to take advantage of when the offense doesn't always do everything the way they're supposed to do and or um, his burst in recognition. So Tampa Bay runs a traditional 4-3 a lot more often than, than we ever do. We run the 4-3 under. They run a traditional 4-3, and he's going to be the Mike or your middle linebacker. The Sam in... Our defense or the strong side um, linebacker will usually be stacked on the line of scrimmage and all these guys shift down. So your one tech will be over here in a three tech. Your three tech on this side will be in a one tech. Um, and so they run more of a traditional three four, or four three. Uh, one thing to understand in this four three, like they have, it's a very much a one gap defense. So this so let's just show you the gaps that these guys are gonna have. This guy's gonna have the outside contain. He's gonna have this gap. This linebacker is gonna be in the C gap. He's gonna be in the B gap. Um, generally, your Mike backer will have on to the play side uh, or strong side B gap, weak side A gap, uh, depending on which way the run goes. This guy is gonna be here in this gap. Um, he's got this gap, this gap, this gap. In this gap. Now this is all for a run this side, which is what we're going to see here. What I want to show is he does a good job. One looks for his gap, and then this guard is going to actually make a mistake. I'll point that out. But he he's supposed to go up, and this is a guy not recognizing who he's supposed to block. He's supposed to block this guy because he's Alexander because he's got the B gap. He goes and he blocks Levante David, which is actually the tackle's responsibility. But the thing about Alexander, he recognizes it, and he has the burst to take advantage of it. So let's show this play. So they're lined up here. They're going to run a toss play to this side. And so you see the guard, he takes on Levante David. Really, the tackle was supposed to get him and wall him off, and he's supposed to go get Alexander. You see they've walled off the one tech. They're trying to get a scoop block, the DN, because, again, they know this is his gap. They're trying to run right through here. Um but they Tampa Bay kind of does a decent job containing this. They don't do a great job, but they do a decent job. The biggest thing is that Alexander is going to see that this guard messed up, and he'll shoot the gap here because um, he has the speed to do so, and he can go, and he can make a good tackle. Um, this is what he brings to the table is he brings an explosiveness. You can see him here. When he turns up field and attacks the target, he gets there very quickly. Um, so let's watch this from the beginning again. You can see he's got a, he's got a great burst. Um, not everybody has this. They can get through the line, make a play like that. So I want to show another play here. This is against the Eagles uh, again this year. What he's going to do here, he's got this gap. This is his responsibility. Um, and so I want to show this play here because he does a great job of filling his hole he works around Jason Kelsey and then goes and makes a tackle with him and Levante David. Um, one, th this tackle kind of messes up here. But what you see here is, let's just let this play, is he's going to go and he's going to make an athletic play. This is what an athletic linebacker can do in space. This is Jason Kelsey, uh, one of the best centers in the league. And he just moves right around him and goes and helps make a play. That's a good player in the middle. That's something you want. I want to show here, this is again against the Eagles on the goal line. What you want from linebackers is you want decisiveness, explosiveness, and them to hold down their gap, fill the gap aggressively. He's got this gap, and he's going to, let's just see how quickly he fills his hole. He fills it, makes the running back cut back, and they make a stop here. Um, they go in and score a touchdown, but it wasn't his fault. It was a fourth down. They actually, The Eagles passed and uh, scored a touchdown but this is third this is third and two from the goal line that's what you want to see from your linebacker is to aggressively fill this hole he doesn't wait he fills and causes a cutback into his help defenders 
that's a good sign. That's a guy who understands his role, understands his responsibility, and attacks it. Um, when I watch film, these are examples, but when I've watched all of his games so far this year, this is what you see over and over again, is a guy who understands his gap, understands his responsibility, and in the run game will fill that hole very quickly and very aggressively. Um, that's what you want. A lot of times what would happen is runs just like this where – it would be designed to go – they're trying to get it in this gap, and you know there it is an inside zone, so it's here or here, and he fills the primary side. This happened over and over and over again in film is I would see him fill one side, and guys would be cutting back, and either a D-end out here wouldn't have contain or a safety wouldn't come up into, into the gap. Because one thing, look here, look at this guy, number 31. He gets pushed all the way back in the end zone. So he's supposed to be the guy filling this area, and he doesn't. And that happened over and over again on film. Sometimes this is um, NASA about here. He would get sucked inside and they'd run outside him. Stuff like that happened over and over again when I watch film. Again, here's against the Bears. So I just want to show this is against multiple teams. And this is a different front that, um, that Tampa Bay is running here. Um, and so show how he handles this. Again, this is a play they're trying to go up inside. And he fills that hole. That's his gap. That's his responsibility. Jason Pierre-Paul is at right here. This is Levante David. He's responsible for um, for this gap, which is the B gap. And then Levante David's responsible for the C gap. Um, here in this front, Alexander's going to re be responsible for the A gap on that side. And this, this zero tech is going to be responsible for the backside A gap. So you see the play, he fills his hole, aggressively fills it up, but Pierre Paul didn't exactly maintain his gap integrity. And so they end up getting six yards off the play. But like I said, I saw this over and over and over again, was that he would do his job, fill, fill his responsibility, and there'd be a breakdown somewhere else. So this is kind of what we're going to get in the run game from this guy, a guy who can fill very very well who is very disciplined he did not get out of his gap very often and he's athletic enough to get around linemen um and then has a speed and explosiveness to go get the running back did he make every plays that was there no but no linebacker in the league has but what i see is a guy who understands his role within the defense does that very well and can handle the one gap responsibilities very well that's what you need in one gap defense you need linebackers who will be very decisive who can read the read run versus pass very quickly and fill their hole aggressively. That's what you need in, in ours. Now you put him with our D line. One thing our D line in the run game is very good at is gap integrity. Our guys do a very good job of gap integrity. That's probably Solomon Thomas's best attribute. He maintains gap integrity in the run game very, very well. Um, DeForest Buckner does it very well. Armstead did very well last year. Um, where we really struggled was usually in our, will linebacker spot reuben foster was not decisive last year he was very good in 2017 not so much in 2018 so this is something that we have to look forward to